Uh, another thrilling victory, this time beating St. Leo, and I uh, think what could be classified as, as a quality road win. Could you recap today's game for us? Well, I'll tell you, it was an unbelievable game, and I felt like today's game would be very difficult following our, our huge win against Florida Southern, and I, I was concerned how the kids would respond, and they came out like gangbusters. We got off to a good lead. Uh, then we got in some foul trouble. We were in some serious foul trouble, and uh, fortunately, we only had one foul out. Adam fouled out right at the end, but we, we, we used our bench. The bench did a great job keeping us in the game, and the kids just fought and plugged and, and uh, it's a gutty effort. They're starting to understand that things are up to them. They got to just keep playing hard and, and making plays, uh, not worrying what's, what else is going on, what the other team's doing, what the officials are doing, what the crowd's doing. Just do our stuff, and, and uh, it was a great win for us. And you talked a little bit about Rollins had the big lead, but then we saw the road a little bit. Uh, what, what did you do to kind of turn things around there? Well, I told the kids we were down four at halftime, and I and I felt like uh, you know we had some people in foul trouble. We sat Mitch an awful lot. We sat Jeff an awful lot. Uh, you know, Yuli turned his ankle a little. So we had we had some guys that uh, came in and and played their guts out. Um, and I felt like you know if we can just get back to our stuff, and we're going to be okay. And then we opened up a big lead, and then like a lot of times you hold on for dear life on the road and. You know, the refs uh, uh, get, don't blow the whistle <laughs> like you know, they could, and, and we don't make some shots like we could, and everyone gets a little tighter, and, and uh, uh, you have to survive that, and we did. Now, uh, two big wins in a row now, and Tampa coming to, to Alphonse Sports Center on Wednesday. Uh, what can we expect in that game? Well, I think uh, we found out by uh, watching this league and going through it, starting now the second time, uh, I think we can – win every game and I think we can lose every game. I think uh, a lot's up to our kids. I think they're starting to figure out that they have a little more control than maybe they thought. Um, records are irrelevant in this league and I think it's irrelevant now in today's basketball. There's so much balance. There are some teams that are dominant talent-wise and they're going to win because they have better players. But I think our league, I, I think our league is, is uh, Fairly balanced. I think Florida Southern has the most talent by far, but I think everyone else is, is they better come with their A game because someone's out to get them. And, and I know Tampa's going to come in hungry and ready, and, and uh, our kids better be ready for this game. And, but fortunately, you know, it's, it's always fun to win uh, before Super Bowl weekend, uh, on Super Bowl weekend, so we can sit back and, and watch the game and, and just relax and, and not play this this game over and uh, so our kids are, are gonna have a good weekend and, and then we'll get back at it Monday for entertainment purposes only who you got in the game tomorrow definitely I don't care uh, I think my wife wants Denver uh, my brother wants Denver I don't I don't care I'm I'm more interested in watching the commercials